One of the most exciting features of shellac is its removal, which differentiates it from everything else in the industry. New technology and advanced science enable shellac to be easily removed within 10 minutes. There are many factors involved, which all begins during application. Let's look at a microscopic scale of what happens during application and how that affects removal. First, we begin with the shellac base coat application. The base coat is important because it is the layer that binds solidly with the natural nail, giving you a firm base for the other layers. It also contains quick-release polymers that allow shellac to release easily from the nail. Now, the base coat is applied thinly and cured for 10 seconds in the CND UV lamp. Next, we apply the first thin shellac color layer. As the color layer is applied, solvents begin to evaporate out of the coating. This continues during the curing process with the CND UV lamp. As the color layer cures and solvents continue to evaporate, tiny tunnels form throughout the color layer. As the second color layer is applied, the same process continues. Solvents evaporate out of the layer and during curing, more tiny tunnels form. Now there are tunnels that run all the way from the base coat up to the surface of the color layers. Finally, we apply the shellac top coat. Solvents evaporate out of the top coat and when the curing begins, tiny tunnels start to form. As you can see, there are fewer tunnels in the top coat than in their color layer because while we want the top coat to remove easily, we also want it to act as a shiny, protective, scratch-resistant layer to protect your shellac. Now that the shellac application is finished, there are two main features to point out. The first is the tiny tunnels that now run all the way from the top coat down to the base coat layer. The second is the black spheres found throughout the top coat and color layers. These spheres represent acetone-soluble polymers. As we begin removal, a shellac wrap is applied to the fingernail, which releases acetone into the shellac. The acetone flows through those tiny tunnels down into the shellac, and when it comes into contact with the acetone-soluble polymer, it dissolves the polymer, swelling and breaking down the shellac. This process continues through the top coat and color layers until it goes all the way down to the base coat. Once acetone reaches the base coat, it immediately dissolves the quick-release polymers, releasing the shellac from the natural nail. Now twist and pull the wrap from the nail, which will remove most of the shellac pieces. Then, if necessary, lightly flake away any remaining bits from the nail using an orange wood stick. Clean the nail with acetone and a fiber-free pad, and then you're ready for the re-shellac application. Thank you.